And now that the midterm elections are over, political leaders are looking to the 2024 presidential election as the next mountain to climb. And in a new Emerson College, the Hill Poll of Georgia voters, a hypothetical matchup between Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and President Biden, finds DeSantis with a four-point lead. It is, of course, important to note DeSantis has not officially thrown his hat into the ring, and Biden has also not officially confirmed he will be running for re-election. Joining us now to discuss the poll, White House columnist at The Hill, Niall Stanage. Niall, thanks for being here. Good to be here, Natasha. It is still so early. What do these results tell us, though? Well, they don't tell us a whole lot about what the result would ultimately be in 2024 this far out. But what they do tell us is that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has an appeal to independent voters as well as Republican voters. You put up on screen there the four-point advantage that Governor DeSantis has over President Biden. That same poll tested President, former President Trump against President Biden. And in that instance, the uh, President Biden won by uh, one percentage point, I believe. So in that instance, you're seeing the case for DeSantis in a nutshell, that he is more capable of winning those voters in the center ground and that that could be enough to propel him to victory in newly competitive states like Georgia. Well, Republicans, you know, struggled across the board during the midterm elections. DeSantis's re-election by nearly 20 points in Florida uh, certainly mm. made an impact on party leaders. DeSantis clearly has, has a winning message in that state. And according to this hypothetical mm. poll in Georgia as well. So can he carry that big of a win on a national stage, do you think? Uh, not in terms of margin, he can't. But in the uh, capacity to rack up that kind of a level of victory in Florida does speak to his electability. Now, this is an interesting point because, of course, a lot of liberal voters in particular really can't stand Ron DeSantis. And I think that had led them perhaps to underestimate his electability. Florida has traditionally been seen as a battleground state. Now, it's one that is increasingly trending Republican, but it had been seen as a battleground until relatively recently. For Ron DeSantis to win that state by basically 20 points, 19 or 20, is an enormous result for him. And it also uh, occurred in part because of his strength with uh, Latino voters. He carried Miami-Dade County, for example, a stronghold of Cuban Americans in particular. First governor, first Republican candidate for governor, I believe, to do that since Jeb Bush. So you put these factors together and it does speak to the electoral strength of Ron DeSantis, and that obviously is fueling the speculation about 2024. It is indeed. All right, Niall Stanage, always appreciate the perspective. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.